afternoon, everybody. You know what? It's a beautiful day, and I thought I'd come out. It's about, uh, let's see here, 3 o'clock. I did a lot of work today at the house, and uh, I thought I'd come out and catch a bunch of nice pan fish for dinner. Now, uh, this is my tackle for the afternoon. I've got a Ziploc bag with some really nice soft plastics. This is one of my favorite when it comes to uh, catching panfish. And also a little pack of jig heads. These are 1 16th ounce. So what I'm going to be doing is using an ultralight rod, which I've got right here, loaded with, uh, I think it's six pound braid. And this one is the ice fishing braid, so it's a blue color. And I'm going to be fishing, it's a little roly poly. I've got the electric set in, but I'm hoping that I'm going to get some fish. So let's see if I can catch some. sign. That was my first drop. Hey, nice pumpkin seed. So this is what I'm targeting. This is a pumpkin seed. A lot of people refer to them as sunfish. This one isn't as big as some of the ones that I can catch here. And uh, I just hooked it up as soon as I dropped it to the bottom. I'm going to show you what I'm using here. This guy's going to be released. Ah, just popping the hook out. And tossing it back in the water. Look at what I've done here. What I've done is taken that helgramite that's from uh, Case Soft Plastics and uh, I've actually cut it in half. It's kind of like when you use a night crawler and uh, you cut your night crawler in half. I've done that so that the larger bluegill and pumpkin seed won't eat it off. Also, I can use the other half because eventually they're going to tear this plastic apart. Now what I've also done is, this is a normal jig hook. I put on a one thoughts with a brighter head because it's kind of, uh, the water's all churned up from the wind. What I've done is taken my pliers and I've straightened the hook out a little bit so that the bend is narrower and it's farther back. So you can see that that looks like a little critter um, and it, it works really well. So I'm excited to see how many fish I get on this rig. being bigger here's a bluegill so that bluegill is a little bit bigger so what I'm going for is bluegill that are bigger than my hand so this guy's still a little bit small you can see he's got a thin back so I'm looking for some of the bigger ones that have the wider back just gonna get him back inches to like 11 inches and you can see that it's a little bit wider that to me is a keeper fish so I don't keep always the biggest fish you see the beautiful colors on this fish he is gorgeous so this guy is the length of my just over the length of my hand and uh, he's going to be filetable so I'm going to put him in the live well eating size pumpkin seed. That guy's about, uh, let's see, about eight inches long. So, you know, you might be saying, well, you know, aren't you keeping like small fish? No, eight to 11 inches is a good size for these pumpkin seed and bluegill because you get some nice flanks on them. Now, one thing I have to tell you, I'm not just fishing anywhere. I've learned, you know, over the years, especially midsummer, that the panfish, some of the best panfish fishing is in the middle of the lake. 
but you have to find uh, isolated thick weed beds and the reason I say in the middle of the lake whether it's the Kawartha Lakes or Eastern Lake Ontario you know or even other areas I find that if I fish weedy bays that there's too many places for the panfish to be so if I find an isolated large weed bed that's away from shore and I fish the outside edges I usually end up getting fish so you can see on the fish finder here here on the left is my boat position and uh, this is the thick weed beds in open water and over here on the right you can see that there's very sparse weeds so this is that second layer that lighter green not the dark green I find that this strategy of fishing these thick weed beds that are in open water and just over the edge is one of the best ways to locate these panfish in the middle of summer I drop my jig down to the bottom today because we've got a windy day it's hard for me to cast and to really have good sensitivity so I'm trying to uh, fish close to the boat and have a vertical line so I start at the bottom and then I slowly shake my rod so it's almost like thrumming like ice fishing and I lift it up and as soon as I feel something I set the hook so I, that feels a little bit heavier look this is what I'm talking about these gorgeous pumpkin seed this one's a lot thicker than the other ones that I caught you know what I'm going to keep catching maybe 15 20 this size and I'm probably going to get some nice bluegill maybe even a white perch or two maybe even a yellow perch so look if you want to have some fun especially with kids you know my grandkids just left and we they wanted to fish so much that we fished yesterday and they were supposed to leave this morning early we went out again for about an hour and a half and they were getting one fish after the other all you need is one of those small grubs for a fishing complete and you'll catch lots of pan fish just find those isolated weed beds in the middle of the lake fish the edges slowly just jigging like that and you're going to have a very tasty dinner